Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A today. We're going to talk about Yohei Fukuda and the Yohei Fukuda trunk show that we are having right now in Hong Kong. Um, we're going to kind of go through how does the trunk show work and what are the options available to you. Um, so to get us started, who is Yohei Fukuda? What is this all about? Yohei Fukuda, briefly, is one of the best bespoke shoemakers in the world and he also has a very nice made-to-order line. So made-to-order is where you use fitting shoes to get a sense of your size. Uh, and then you look at some of the style samples we have available and you say, okay, well, I, I fit in this size, I'd like that style, and I'd like to use that leather. Um, obviously, it's a little bit more complicated than that, so let me elaborate a little bit. Um, we are actually getting Fukuda on Zoom calls at the same time because there's actually a lot of really interesting little options um, throughout the ordering process that are best discussed with him at the same time. Um, it's also just nice to kind of get the input of a master, right? Like what separates a Fukuda shoe from like everybody else is A, like that sense of proportion. You know, he trained um, with many of the English bespoke shoemakers and he really picked up like that English sense of elegance. But I think that he also takes um, some of the shapes and uh, especially some of the fineness of the details like to a whole new level. Um, I feel like you can always kind of spot a Fukuda shoe even from far away because it just has this look to it that uh, you don't really see very often. Um, in terms of the styles we have on the table, this is probably my favorite. I am very tempted to place an order for myself. So this is a long wing Darby. And you know, like people like Alden, for instance, like Alden was very famous or is very famous for making long wing Darbys as well. Um, you know, and they would be like a, a heavy, solid, usually in black kind of city shoe. Um, but if you look at the Fukuda version, it is just so, so, so elegant. He's got a beautiful toe tapering beautifully from the widest part of the shoe down to the toe. Um, you can see clearly just like how nicely the upper has been done in terms of like the neatness of the stitching and the neatness of the punching. And you know, like, I think I really like the shoe, especially right now, because it's just very appropriate for the moment that we're in right now, right? Like with people going to kind of more casual wardrobes, I think a Darby makes a lot of sense. In fact, like I'm wearing a pair of Fukuda bespoke Darbys right now. And I um, just find them a little bit easier to wear with casual clothing than I do with Oxfords. Um, so, you know, if I was to do this in like a casual way, I would imagine something like this in like a fox colored or a dark brown suede. Um, let's see where to go right here. You know, like that style in a suede like that, or even like that, that would be amazing. And then for the sole, because um, you know, all these shoes are made to order, they're made one at a time. So you can specify a lot of different options, right? So the sole, like I would just pull the welt out just a little bit more and give it slightly chunkier look as well. And you know, I might even specify a rubber sole. Um, in fact, that's actually what I did for this bespoke pair. I did a half rubber on the front and a rubber heel with a toe tap. Um, you know, in Hong Kong where there's like a lot of hills and where it rains fairly often, like this is actually a really good shoe for when you're stuck in a little bit of rain and you're going down a hill or something like that. Um, other samples I really like, this is fantastic, his single monk. Um, his single monk in this beautiful gray suede. My favorite part is just this little shape here, this little kink with the, with the cut edge right there. I just absolutely love that. I think it's amazing. And actually even the buckle, like the buckle is just such a beautiful proportion on the entire shoe. You know, it's, it's actually not that common to find like just the right size buckle. Like sometimes you find buckles that are a little too dinky on the shoe or a little too large on the shoe. This is just perfect. It goes back to like what I was talking about, that eye for proportion that he has. Um, the chukka. So Fukuda-san is actually offering boots now as well. The chukka is awesome. Taller than what you might normally expect, but very elegant as you would always expect from him. He also offers Chelsea's and Jodhpur's. Um, they all are built on the same shoe last, but obviously like he extends, uh, he makes space for your ankle as well. Um, now, in terms of like other little, little things that you could potentially change during a made to order trunk show, right? Um, as I mentioned, because all the shoes are being made one pair at a time, on this, for instance, the lazy man. So lazy man means that it has a side elastic. It's like a slip on Oxford type shoe. Um, on the lazy man, you could ask him to not do the wingtip or take off the medallion, put a cap toe instead, you know, simplify it a little bit more. Like this is a great kind of like semi-formal, semi-casual shoe. Like I love the punching. I love the idea of this with say 
uh, like a brown suit um, or even a tan linen suit, I think this would look amazing. But let's say you wanted this to be like a very formal shoe, right? Then you would switch it to something like just black calf and maybe just a simple cap toe and none of the punching. And you know, that's the sort of thing that you could specify during the made to order trunk show and make it happen for yourself. Alrighty, so we have the samples here in Hong Kong. Uh, they're on loan from us from Tokyo. They're here in Hong Kong until Saturday. Um, if you're interested in placing an order, uh, feel free to make an appointment with us and we'll make sure we get Fukuda-san booked in to have a chat with you as we do the order. And uh, yeah, that is about it for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>